Hi, I'm Lori Wallen. I'm a certified life coach and the author of Why Your Weirdness is Wonderful and Get Your Joy Back. There's a scientist called Abraham Maslow who came up with this hierarchy of needs and it's a pyramid and on the bottom is safety, basic needs for your body, for your life to function and it goes up in progression up to the top of the pyramid where things like choice and logical thinking and existentialism and all of that, all the things that make our life high quality are up here and our life function are down here. and as a special needs parent, we live in the bottom. I think we all need to push as hard as we possibly can and try as hard as we can and do everything we possibly can to, to work as hard as we can to have as much normal as we can. And then at some point, it becomes clear that you will try until you are nothing and it's not going to be even next to normal. And I think we as parents, to, to cry out for joy and to ask for anything better, we have to get to the place where it just can't get any worse. So the book looks at how do you let go of resentments? How, what are some practical ways to release the tension that we bring with us that make us the most stressed out people on the planet, according to researchers? How do we drain that off and leave a big space for God to put something better in? People who are going through chronic challenges, and for us in particular as parents of special needs kids, it, it can't be a every time someone misunderstands or doesn't come through or can't help me with a need or doesn't support what I'm doing for my child, every single one of those goes out before God and we say, I forgive them, I forgive them, I forgive them. I sat in church one day and thought about how Peter was said to, you know, told to do seven times 70 to forgive people and I thought, you know, I would never think another thought again if I did it that way with what we're going through. There wouldn't be space for anything, but that hurt, I forgive it. That hurt, I forgive it. And so this book actually shows how we can take them as a, a whole entity over time, over a whole day, over a month, over years, and take the whole thing and stick it in a cauldron and set it on fire, get rid of it, let it go. Different ways to forgive attitudes of forgiveness, ways to forgive like breathing, instead of forgiving like doing, that we maybe understand it as right now.